Hi, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is part four of the WordPress series, and uh, we're going to go over the post tab in the, in the sidebar here, which is your working area of your WordPress website. In the previous lessons, we uh, showed how to log in. We showed you how to come down here to your general settings and set up the information, your website title, your taglines, uh, support uh, email, your date, your time configurations. We talked about setting up 30 line uh, input box for your posts. This is how large, how high your post box will appear. We talked about setting five posts and items to appear on your first page instead of uh, 20. You can set as many as you'd like, but uh, we went down to privacy and made sure that the privacy tab was selected so your website can be found by the search engines. And the last lesson we created, uh, we went to custom structure and uh, input the forward slash percentage post name percentage forward slash dot PHP variable so that your permalinks, which, is, which are the URLs for each individual content item you create, so that those URLs have the keywords in it, for your content as opposed to a generic number, which was what the default was. And now we're going to take a look at posts. A post is in WordPress talk uh, content, and it's very dynamic content. And this is where you're going to be putting mo most of your content when you add it to your website will be in this post tab. And if you notice under here to, to the right under posts, there are several options. Uh, you can add a new post, you can create new categories, you can uh, put tags and, and post tags for your content. We're going to select the Add New. When you come to the Add New, you have an empty box here, empty area, and it's asking for content. The top area is where you place your title. Let's get back to it. You place your title. It's very important to pick a title that's keyword rich. And this is the information that will appear in your URL based on what you put in your permalink box. So whatever you put here will appear in the URL for the con for the um, in the address bar when this content is called for by the, the search engine or whoever is using looking at the content. Below is the input box for the content. It is 30 lines high. There are two ways you can put content in. You'll see a visual tab on the right. The visual tab, if it's selected, and it is here, <clears throat> is for um, words. And uh, so any type of word input goes into this context box. The HTML tab <clears throat> takes HTML code, and that's the way you put in banners and any type of information that is HTML based. So if you're word processing, you want the visual tab selected. And then you'll see at the top here a selection of functions that correspond to what you normally get when you're word processing. Above here are icons. One icon here allows you to add an image. Another icon allows you to add video. You can add audio. And you can add different media, pictures, et cetera, that you may have in your library. So that is basically the post configuration for inputting data. On the right-hand side, you, contr you control your publishing. You save your, your material you're creating as a draft until you want it published. You can preview what it looks like. You can set the status of, of the draft here, pending review or draft. You can decide whether you want your content to be public, to be private, or to be password protected so that you, you need a password to access it. The sticky box allows you to make this content appear by default permanently at the top of your website. In a, web, in a WordPress website, everything is chronologically driven. The latest content is always put at the top. If you want this content to remain permanent at the top, you click the sticky box. Uh, publish immediately. This is how you publish. You, when you click publish, it will then go out to the world and it go, as your website. Uh, categories, you will be creating categories in which you can put different content depending on the type of content that is. You want to make sure that you create a category hierarchy. You add your categories on this add category box, add category uh, link here. Post tags, very important here. You, when you create content, you want to add tags. These are 
keywords that your customers, people searching for this information are apt to use, looking for it, and that's what you want to put in your tags. And then a little further down, eventually when you start adding plugins, you're going to see a material appear here with plugins, and you'll want to use that. So that is the post tab. In the next video, I will demonstrate how you input information and how you uh, optimize it. So that's it. This is Claude Polan at Affiliate Starting Line. I hope uh, this is in information has been useful. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.